when I see something I really love, which is kind of rare, uh, I'll just have to put it on right away. I'm uh, from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I remember starting out modeling around seven and eight and actually starting, uh, starting to cry when a stylist dressed me because I just wanted to be kind of not anyone else's interpretation of myself, just couldn't do it. So it's very personal to me. I was uh, a tambourine girl in a psychedelic uh, 60s, 70s revivalist band for about a year. It really saved my life in high school because I had um, no friends, no real like calling. I was very shy. Styled a film for um, a couple of friends of mine who were working on a project about gay culture in 1968, kind of like pre-Stonewall Rebellion. It was a project I was really passionate about. My inspirations as far as dressing and overall style, I mean, I love like. 60s actresses, Catherine Deneuve, any Fellini woman I really adore, really love good hosiery and like really inspired by vintage like lingerie pieces and um, I always look for them and always collect them. So it's interesting to see who is wearing things before you. This is actually um, my grandmother's dress that she made for her high school graduation in 1930, and it's one of my favorite pieces, and I um, feel that the history behind it is really important to me. I just kind of like them, it's kind of like a nod to what I was doing a few years ago, which was very like all black leather, rock and roll kind of thing. This is by my friend Raul Osario, who is a designer from Minneapolis and uh, originally from the Honduras. He's really the only um, designer from Minnesota that I, you know, adore and would, would wear on a regular basis. And the gloves I picked up in Paris for a photo shoot and I just thought they were adorable. They're a little too small. Old, old Louboutins <laughs> are on their last, last leg. They're on their way out. <laughs> I kind of like pieces to be a little bit worn and beat up. Inspiration, I mean, as far as hair goes, it's always been kind of, I've loved like Gibson girls and old um, Mucha paintings, just really long, um, kind of romantic curls. Throwing a uh, first doll on over anything, I feel like it pulls everything together for me. It adds so much texture and, you know, an interesting element. Um, I just, I adore vintage fur. I have a couple of furs that have just giant rips, but I'll still wear them and pretty much wear them till they're falling off of my body. 